Hey guys, in this video I will show you some simple lineups and tips and tricks with deadlock on peril. And we will start right here when you are attacking A side with your first ability Gravnet. So for the first lineup you wanna Over come there. close to this spot, place your cursor on the Over corner there. of this roof a little bit to the right of it and throw it. No and it's gonna bounce up and land perfectly at this spot. That Over way if there. there's anyone pushing into the A main it's gonna it's gonna catch it. It's gonna catch him. Another lineup that you can do, you have to come here, hug the wall, right in the middle, and place your crosshair slightly above this corner right here. And simply throw it. And as you can see, it's gonna bounce up off the back wall and get anyone in the back side. When you are attacking on B, you just want to be simple nade in either one of these two spots. So you can be doing it, for example, like this, simple let them forward and throw it. Or you can just simply throw it into this spot once again. So that way anyone in this corner or further back is going to be got. You can keep it for later on in the round, but I would just simply use it either to even clear spots like these or these so that the enemies will be caught off guard and you can simply get a kill on them if they are crouching there and they cannot really move you can be doing something very similar right here on my just simply in between those two walls right here run forward and throw it so that way it lands in this area and anyone who'd be trying to uh, who'd be waiting for you here is gonna get once again caught in that when you are defending you can be simply using it to stop the pushes to simply bounce it off or just simply if the, you know that the enemies would be planting you can even maybe right click with it so that they are crouching and you can try to spam through the wall here there's plenty of spots where you can be playing from and using this for example in retake i would recommend or even when you are pushing you can throw it into this spot so that way anyone right here once again is gonna be caught or when retaking you can try to throw it maybe onto the right side or bounce it off to the left so that way anyone who'd be close waiting for them to peek on the top would have a hard time and would very slowly swing into you on B you can be using this to combine it for example race nade so if you nade here or just very simple at the beginning of the round like that so that way it lands there your race can nade there too you can use it to for example nade even behind this pillar where you can do a lot of damage to anyone who'd be hiding there so try to use that as well now let's move on to your sonic sensor when you are defending there's plenty of ways how to use it you can use it anywhere on these stairs which i would say is not a bad idea you can also use it anywhere on this entrance or anywhere at spot like this since as you can see it would reach quite far from that spot all the way here or you can do one on the side there's plenty of spots you can place it on these curves as well so that way it won't be as expected of course you can do one when the enemies are planting so that way when they start planting they will get stunned and then you can spray them when they are stunned so they would have a small chance of running away you can be placing some even in these spots since these sonic sensors have no range on them so it's a great idea to cover the whole map using them anywhere in these spots you can for example do one right here Listening. or anywhere in these areas as you can see you can place them on these barrels as well curve them as well so there's a lot of ways how you can use it as you can see even on these doors or on these oh lanterns since enemies would never expect them to be right here as you can see and it's gonna cover this area pretty well Moving on to B, uh, I would recommend be placing them just closer to the side since enemies you won't get much value out of out of these if you place them here. Enemies would be usually running here, but you are not really challenging them, so that way I would recommend them either placing them close to these spots, as you can see. For example, you curve them like this, or anywhere in these spots, even like that. Or you, there's other ways which you can do on these boxes, these corners, or these so that would be hidden. So that way anyone would be pushing in or would get stunned and then you can, for example, swing on them. There's also other ways, as you can see, on these spots, on these doors. 
just like that Listening. so that's why they are hard to predict where they are and there's plenty of spots where you can use it as you can see even on the sides of these things so yeah so have that in mind there's plenty of ways how to use these when you are defending and they have no limit of distance on them on the other hand when you are defending you can use these sensors for example at spots like these so that way they will hold their flank but have in mind anyone who's flanking you he they are not really running all the way so they might they might spot these and just walk by them and you will get zero value out of them so i would say they are much better let's say that you have planted here you can place one right there at this spot so if you end up in a 1v1 or 2v1 situation anyone who's gonna tap it he's gonna get stunned and you can get a free kill on him since you you would know it just went off he's stunned and you have a you can have a good timing on them you can use it to delay the pushes since enemies usually would be trying to group up here and not really expect uh, anything to be here and when they would start pushing they would not walk like this they would just simply run to try to clear these close corners so this might this one might delay their pushes so i would say they are much better in post plant situation to use them on the side to get you to win you a lot of time now let's move on to barrier, barrier meshes you can use them here just by simply place click placing your cursor at this spot so that way you know how to aim with them on a side it's very simple just to simply block off the pushes the on the other hand if you are attacking you just want to throw them at spots like these so that way they will win you a lot of time as you can see enemies would have to break these walls and you can f you can block off any area and it should block it off pretty well as you can see always at least one wall but i would say throwing it at the flowers is probably the best since as you can see they would usually have to break at least two walls to get through it so have that in mind you can always use it closer or there's one way which you might benefit from as well just simply throw throw it on the spike like this so that way enemies cannot go and defuse the spike and it would be very difficult for enemies to do something about that they would have to break these walls if the spike was planted in this corner in that corner they would have no chance of reaching it by simply throwing it on it's on this uh, barrier mesh on it they would have to break it and it will take them a lot of time lastly let's move on to your ultimate the annihilation i would say the best way to use this is to uh, kill people who would be either planting or diffusing so let's say you've planted in the corner right here and you are in one of your situation you can just very simply ult anyone on the spike to bounce it off the wall right here you can do it from other spots for example like this as well so that way they cannot diffuse on the spike and you can get them free it's super easy to do even when you are defending you can just simply bounce it off of the wall for example like that and there's plenty of ways there's plenty of spots where the enemies will usually group up so let's say that you want to use it into this d main you can do it and you would usually get anyone who would be right here and the same thing works i would not really recommend it to use it in these spawns since uh, there's quite a lot of space where enemies can be but it's really situational to use if you know that they will be pushing just simply ult it at this spot where it's gonna get anyone in this area would be a good idea as well and of course it's gonna work pretty much the same for all of these spots you can even bounce it off of the spot right here so that way you are gonna kill anyone planted or this spot or you can do it for example from this corner to get a kill on the guy who would be pushing either here or if you bounce it for example closer like this it's gonna get anyone who would be planted in this close corner so there's plenty of ways make sure that the ultimate the end of it has to have the line of sight on the enemy otherwise it won't ultimate it won't go through the wall deadlock on pearl hopefully this video is gonna help you to play him a bit don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you guys soon bye